So I know I'm a little late to the party, but I just got done watching the Valter versus Ilya Dragunov match for the NXT United Kingdom Championship from the October 29th edition of NXT UK. So I'm going yeah, to preface this with a little backstory. I used to watch NXT UK a lot um, before the pandemic, where I guess the, the promotion shut down for... And I guess a number of months. Like I know it recently came back, and you know, with the amount of wrestling I was watching, I you know I still watch Raw, SmackDown. I do watch AEW. So those are the three main shows I watch weekly. But I used to watch NXT UK a lot, and some of the faces that I really enjoyed were Valter and Ilya Dragunov. You know, the women's division is really strong too. I'm I'm a little out of touch, or off base a little bit with the product and with the match as good as this. Makes me want to hop back into it. Like, I might want to watch the next NXT UK episode to see what happens next. But I just want to say, this match was incredible. Um, I heard that it was the stiffest match. I, I just kept hearing the headlines. WWE NXT UK had the stiffest match in a long time. Or the stiffest match ever. Or Volter versus Ilya Dragunov was the best wrestling match in, in recent memory. And I was like, okay. I mean, I had no doubt that Volter and Ilya would tear the house down since those two are uh, two of my favorites in NXT UK. I mean, I, I was, I was trying to take a few notes, but as soon as the bell rang, it, it, it immediately set the pace or set the, the tone and standard for the match that this was going to be a hard hitting brawl. And then it, and it did not let up. These two look like they were like legit trying to kill each other in the ring. And I'm not saying that, all wrestling needs to be like this, but the fact that most wrestling nowadays looks way too choreographed and everyone's just kind of standing and waiting for their next uh, move in the ring or waiting for their next spot or, you know, waiting for someone to get in place. Like, it looks obvious when people are, you know, waiting for something to happen in a wrestling match currently. So when you see something like this, like a legitimate fight in an athletic competition because the story of this match it was it was like a, a contest of strength walter was the imposing you know he, he was big and imposing just by looking at him if you were just if you're unfamiliar with the nxt uk product and you and i just showed you this match it is literally pro wrestling in its rawest form it is good guy versus bad guy. The good guy is the smaller underdog. That is Ilya Dragunov versus Valter, the big and imposing champion. Valter looks like he could hurt you, and he put the hurting on Ilya. I had to hold myself back a little bit because I was like, these two could legitimately hurt each other. But I was so encapsulated with what was going on, like everything in front of me was like it, it it was engrossing like i couldn't look away it was just it was mesmerizing like i couldn't believe that we were getting a match this good under the wwe umbrella because this is the type of pro wrestling i like it's a little slower it's a little more um methodical and a little more um story based and story driven character focused well, i'm i'm going to say it like this i knew walter wasn't going to lose the title Okay, I knew that wasn't going to happen, but when I was watching the match, I started to sympathize with Ilya. He sells so good that I was sympathizing with him. Like every time he took a chop or a boot to the face or anything like that, like any type of like this onslaught of of like these powerhouse moves from Walter, it's just... I felt bad for him. And when he started getting his comebacks and I was like, you know what? I want this kid to beat Walter. They were building up the story of Walter being this big and imposing, like just an unstoppable brute of a champion. But Walter has been impressive as a champion. He's stopped everybody like that has opposed him. And in this match, I actually found myself flipping sides. I wanted to see Ilya beat this guy. And that's the beauty of pro wrestling. They want you. They want the audience to be involved. They want the audience to root for the good guy. And that's what was happening here. I knew Volter wasn't going to lose. But I was like, you know what? I want Ilya to win. So I was like low-key rooting for him. 
So every time Walter would get his comeback in, I was like, oh, damn it. Because, you know, I felt like I was involved in the story of the pro wrestling match that they were telling us. And it was executed perfectly. There was no awkward standing around waiting for someone to do some choreographed, overly fake looking spot. This felt like a fight that broke out in the middle of the pro wrestling ring. It felt like a no holds barred fight, like a bar room fight in the middle of a pro wrestling match. Like they were, they were rough with each other, just yanking and pulling and kicking and, and the boots and the just like everything just felt so stiff. And like, I, I, I felt those chops. I'm just like, every time Ilya found himself you know, fighting to get out of Walter's, you know, sleeper hold. And he would grab the ropes. Walter would just use his big, like, clubs for arms and just chop away Ilya's hands to break loose of the rope break. And I'm just like, this guy is unstoppable. Like, they really did an outstanding job booking Walter. <sighs> I'm not saying he, like, Walter looks physically impressive, but he looks like a man that will hurt you. You know what I'm saying? And that's what I love about this match because Ilya was the smaller you know he was the cut the, the 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 toned the muscle guy he was the quicker one he looked everything he looked like everything you would want in a babyface pro wrestler while the big heel was kind of you know he kind of looked schlubby but he can put a hurting on you and damn this match like delivered in all areas like there were some spots where I guess Walter was like stretching Ilya out over the top turnbuckle. He was just chopping and chopping. And then he was just like, just kicking away at his face. It was just like, this stuff is brutal. And then you don't even get me started on the finish. This match was just incredible. And Ilya told, like he, he sold the character of a, of a guy that just won't quit. And I think he looked strong in defeat at the end. And ultimately, you know, Ilya was fighting off the sleeper hold throughout the entire match until... It was it. Walter got him in it at the end, and Ilya did not tap. But you know, the referee looked. And Ilya looked like he was. He was. He looked lifeless in that hole. Like Walter was just fucking ruthless with him. He looked like Ilya was just like dying in that sleeper hole. He was like, ugh. But it looked brutal. Walter wins. The referee called the match. Both men were laid out afterwards. Like it was a struggle. I love sing and wrestling where you see the chops and you see the, the mist of sweat again like when they're chopping each other's neck like Walter's focus was Ilya's neck and that played a huge factor in the match like that was it that was the deciding moment Ilya could no longer go on he looks strong in defeat he did not tap Walter looks like a beast like he should be I don't know who can beat this guy I don't think anybody should I think Walter should be that one guy that is untouched. Ilya got a lot of big moments in. He kicked out of the splash. He kicked out of a lot of those big, you know, powerhouse moves that he took from the outside. And I was legit shocked. I popped. When he kicked out of the splash, the same splash that that he that Walter hit done, he done and won the title, and Ilya kicked out. What a moment. That popped. And of course, the finish was intense and violent. It was just, it, was, it felt like a struggle. Like, these two men felt like they were trying to beat each other. One, two, three. It was not standing around waiting so everyone can do some flippy, flippy bullshit. It felt like a legitimate athletic competition with two people that want to try to beat each other senseless to walk out the NXT UK champion. This match not only put the belt over, but they put Ilya over too. He sold his character to me. Everything about him works. And Walter, man, if you can like stand 30 minutes in the ring with Walter and just take those chops and just keep up with him throughout the match, that's a round of applause for me, man. Definitely my favorite match of the year. And Walter is such an attraction. Um, you know, there's just something about him. He's just like, like I mentioned earlier, everything about this just feels like pro wrestling in its rawest form. Like Walter just looks like a dude that'll hurt you. That's what you need in the heel these days. You need someone that looks like, oh fuck, this guy looks like he could fuck me up. 
I, I want to see these imposing characters on wrestling again. And Walter, I'm glad that, you know, he's being booked extremely well overseas. So if you guys haven't seen it, I really recommend watching it. It's I know it's 30 minutes. It may be a long one and it's a little slow going. But man, after the opening bell, if you're not hooked immediately, then I don't know what to tell you, because this is pro wrestling at its finest. It's my type of pro wrestling. I love everything about this. I'm giving it five stars because I thought it was perfect. I thought it was excellent in telling story and getting Ilya over and putting over the belt and, and, and putting over pro wrestling in general. There was no silly BS. It was just two men fighting for the title. And it just happened to be under the WWE umbrella. So there we go. If you like my thoughts, be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. I'm going to get out of here, and I'm going to talk to you guys later. All right, guys. See ya.